Cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Blockchain, Decentralized Banking. These are all terms and concepts we've now become used to seeing and hearing in our daily lives, from adverts inviting traders to invest, to news stories on our screens. And now another term is making headlines. NFT. NFTs. 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 What are these digital assets? And how do they exist within the crypto finance world? This is Decomplicated. NFTs. The acronym stands for Non-Fungible Tokens. Something classed as fungible means it's mutually interchangeable, like one pound coin for another. Whereas something non-fungible is unique, not interchangeable with anything else, like a one-of-a-kind work of art, such as the Mona Lisa. So in this case, an NFT is a unique digital token representing an asset that is not interchangeable with any other asset. In the most basic terms, the tokens are a digital receipt of ownership for anything from real-life assets like property to online assets like artwork. Other examples of assets that have been tokenized include tweets, GIFs, videos, and even a photo of an article. For example, in March 2021, Twitter co-founder and former CEO Jack Dorsey sold his first ever tweet as an NFT for over $2.9 million. What does an NFT look like? A small packet or block of data that can contain a line of code. This data is created or minted and stored on a blockchain, which is an online ledger used for recording the creation and movement of crypto assets like Bitcoin and NFTs. Each creation and movement of a crypto asset is added to the blockchain, which is maintained and accessible by several computers that are linked in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Each peer in the network has a copy of the database, which allows them to validate the authenticity of transactions on the chain by comparing the inputted data shared across the network. This system is intended to make fraud and piracy more difficult because the data cannot be modified once it enters the blockchain. Though it's not impossible, as so-called bad data can be inputted in the first place. How are NFTs changing the art world? NFT art has become increasingly popular after digital artist Beeple sold a collage at Christie's auction house for $69 million in March of 2021. This made it the most expensive NFT to ever be sold to one owner. Since then, the art and finance world have jumped on NFT art as the next evolution of digital commerce and there's been a flurry of artists tokenizing their artwork to sell as NFTs. So why buy an NFT? A whole new market has been created around the concept of digital scarcity off the back of the uniqueness of an NFT, as it can only be traded and not replicated within the NFT value system. This scarcity appeals to collectors as a status symbol Plus, there's a growing belief within the art and crypto finance community that NFTs are the next big venture. This has facilitated NFT bids going into the millions of dollars in established auction houses like Christie's and Sotheby's. Where can you buy NFTs? NFTs can be bought and sold through online marketplaces like OpenSea. Potential buyers will need a digital wallet with some cryptocurrency in it typically Ethereum or Solana, in order to make the purchase. Critics, however, argue NFTs are bubble inflated, hyped by so-called crypto grifters and being sold as a get rich quick scheme. David Gerard, author of Attack of the 50 Foot Blockchain, said, without a specific contract saying otherwise, an NFT does not grant ownership of the artwork it points to in any meaningful sense. NFTs exist so that the crypto grifters can have a new kind of magic bean to sell for actual money and pretend they're not selling magic beans. The ownership of an NFT can be largely symbolic as purchasing a tokenized artwork may not include owning the represented asset itself. 
NFT artists can still retain copyright and reproduction rights, as with physical pieces of art, meaning the artwork can still be copied and distributed by the artist. And internet users can also, unofficially, continue to do the same. Unless it is included with the NFT, enforcement of copyright and royalties won't extend to the real world's legal system. So the digital scarcity everyone is banking on only pertains to the token, not necessarily to the thing the token represents. Ultimately, the NFT market is currently unregulated, using speculative currency and speculative value. So it's hard to foresee the future of the market, whether NFTs will become a staple in the investment world or whether the bubble will eventually burst.